I'm still kind of nervous about it, you know. It, it, was, it, was, it was very scary. Residents near Trinidad are still feeling the effects of the late night earthquake. Pretty much got woke up in a panic, running. My wife screaming, the kids hollering upstairs, and, and uh, we all just kind of froze. We didn't know what to do, you know. We've had earthquakes before, but nothing of that magnitude. According to geologists, it was the strongest earthquake to hit the state in more than 40 years. I just was petrified. I thought my house was exploding. Just a few miles west of Trinidad, the Moulter family has a convenience and liquor store and captured surveillance video when the quake hit. The liquor store was the worst of it. I got some electrical issues I'm dealing with now. Dozens of homes here along Highway 12 were shaken by Monday night's earthquake, including this old convenience store where hundreds of bricks fell to the ground, smashing mailboxes. But as you can see, just feet away, a home is virtually unscathed. I've lost a lot of antiques that I had, they broke. Souvenirs that I had through the years have broken. And it's, it's very sad because those were memories, good memories, you know. One home in the area is now said to be unlivable due to damage caused by the earthquake, but everyone is grateful no lives were lost. I can't fathom if what Haiti felt like, what Japan felt like. Those poor people, I, I couldn't imagine. And, and our buildings are still standing. And, and just the fear that, that everybody had here it was just crazy. It's just a scary experience that I'd, I'd never want to go through again. In Trinidad, Kelly Worthman, Fox 21 News.